What's up guys, Yugi Bros here, uh, playing this uh, tribal deck again. Uh, this version we took out one twister, sort of deep seated, added a two sphere career was in the main, and put sphere and a second field in the side deck, uh, and we took out the magic jammers. Uh, I just feel like it's a little bit better. I tried magic jammer in this matchup, and it's like, if you draw it on time, great. If you don't, it sucks. So we're playing the blue eyes matchup. Uh, again, for some reason this video doesn't or the replay doesn't show us the skills, but it's Kaiba Blue Eyes versus uh, Tribal Synergy in my Tribal Twister deck. So, Kaiba Man Blue Eyes, uh, take 3000. Sucks to suck. I set a Windstorm, but I didn't want to waste it. Uh, the hand didn't start out to be too great, so we're just going to play through it here. Um... We're going to pass. I mean, I could have set the Sage. I just don't really want to. If I draw a Harpy, I want to draw some cards, you know. Wonder Wand and the... It's really strong. <laughs> uh, now we're going to Windstorm. I feel like they got a little cocky. They could have played around that, just setting Blue Eyes to defense. Either attack was game, but I did have a Sphere, so I guess it almost didn't matter. All right, we're going to Village. We're going to Summon Sage. We're going to set a bluff egotist and we're gonna pop this blue dragon summoner so they don't get the wonder one pluses so they'll get the blue eyes uh, so we still got sphere spheres are only actual out here we can't take an attack directly we'll just lose or we can't take an attack on sage we'll lose but of course standing destruction I keep thinking they wanted to pop that but I was wrong they wanted to pop the field which makes way more sense so I take five village to those Blue Eyes Swings, Ice Sphere. Uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, I'm gonna try to draw something. We're we're really we're really game ones with this deck. Don't seem to be the greatest. It's it's really funny. Off all the replays I've got, it's just all the game ones are pretty lackluster. Uh, Blue Dragon will swing over. We're gonna Kunai. We are not gonna switch to defense. We will just get rid of it. Give it the five buff. So it takes four. Uh, they get the search. Desert Twister is really, really good in the Amazon matchup. It is really, really bad in the Blue Eyes matchup. So, like I said, when we're maining one, uh, but we're gonna side it out. This ma uh, this this match, there's actually siding. So we're gonna s we draw Swordswoman. We're gonna swing. They're gonna take the thousand. Uh, we're still down here, yeah, because then Lord of D. They use their skill, but like I said, the replay doesn't show it, so we're going to dump the flute just because we're going to use it. Summon a blue eyes. Now we're playing around Windstorm. They're going to take the 15, but that's going to kill Swordswoman. Lord of D is going to kill the Sage. I had Sage in defense just because I couldn't afford it to be in attack mode. Uh, we draw Windstorm. Fantastic. Uh, we're kind of like SOL at this point. That does a twister, man. I swear. Fantastic in every matchup that's not this one. Alright, so Lord of D swings. Yeah, we'll just take it, because the Windstorm's not going to matter. Uh, we got the Dead Egotist, and yeah, we had a Windstorm, but who cares. Alright, so we actually side. So what we're going to side here is we're going to side out Twister, Egotist, and Harpy Lee Sisters for the third Sphere, the Village, and the third Swords Woman. Which puts this at a much better position against Blue Eyes. Uh, because, again, like I said, Magic Jammer, uh, I had Magic Jammer in the deck video, but after testing it against this a lot, I realized more that unless you open the Jammer, it's literally just terrible. So we're going to use our skill here where it reveals an Amazon to Harpy. We're going to draw a Kunai. We're going to summon Swordswoman. We're going to set. We're going to set. We're going to kill over the Lord of D. Might as well get that out of here as fast as possible. Again, for some reason, that animation cuts their life in half, but at least the number is correct. They're at 37. Um... Blue Dragon, Wonder Wand. Tyrant to defense to play around Windstorm. We're going to sphere that. And then we draw. Alright, so we got our defense. We got our Harpy, so we're going to use our other skill. It lets us draw two because we have a Harpy and an Amazon. We drew Village, so we're going to play that. We have spheres for days. <laughs> let's get this off the field because. Otherwise, they get a free search, so they're going to get, or the free draw. They'll get their search. They just get a free draw if I don't kill it. And then let's do 800 damage to them because Swordswoman's effect. Kaiba Man, blue eyes, fantastic. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they meant to summon it in defense mode. 
Um, so I let it go. They're going to take 12 Amazons. Someone's going to another one, but they got the Tyrant. But the upside is now we can Sphere. So that'll save that. And put them on a clock, essentially, with the fact that Swordswoman can just now do another 800. Puts them down to 700. Or, I'm sorry, 900. There we go, because 800. Uh, they can't attack Swordswoman. So Tyrant's going to try its best to deal with other things, but we're just going to Sphere, because we can. We didn't even have to use our back row this game. It's great. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to swing into Blue Eyes. They're going to take 8. They're still at 100. Uh, and we'll put our other monsters in defense, but, like, we don't care at this point. Like, you're going to kill that? That's fine. You're going to kill this? Sure. We'll get another Swordswoman. Make it even harder for you. If you don't have a Sphere Karibo, we just win. Or two Sphere Karibos now, we just win. Uh, so, yeah. They take the damage. <laughs> so, we go back. Uh, game three. They're going to have us go first, because it's Blue Eyes, obviously. Uh, we open Spheres, Amazon, Swordswoman times two, and Kunai. That's really good against Blue Eyes. Kunai not so much, but the Swordswoman, so. So this way, oh, but they have the Blue Dragon, so unfortunately we're just going to take that. We could have Sphered it, but we have a second Swordswoman. I think we'll be okay. We should just hold our defenses as long as possible. With only three cards. Drawing a Windstorm. Yeah, summon, set, set, attack for 15. We can't use our... Tribal Synergy skill, because we haven't hit a Harpy yet. So we got to kind of keep all our defenses as much as possible. Summons another Blue Dragon. All right, this time we'll flip Kunai. And as far as I remember, we don't switch it to defense. Yeah. We just let him take the five, because now we have Lethal on board. They'll search the Blue Eyes. We will draw. More Kunais. I'm actually surprised they didn't draw another monster here. They have the sphere, so of course it's not yet that easy. Uh, but then they'll go. They set a defense. We have another sphere. So we have defense forever. Uh, and it's blue eyes. And at this point, like, the craziest thing they could do is Lord of D, Flute, Summon 2. But, like, honestly, yeah, at this point they realize they just had enough. Uh, and we, we, sh we show them. Oh, so we had all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's a tougher matchup for sure, Tribal against Blue Eyes. Uh, Blue Eyes, obviously Blue Eyes bricked there in Game 3, so it was kind of a shitty way to end that. But um, if Blue Eyes doesn't brick, it's kind of hard to deal with. We have to see the Amazon package, or we lose, or we brick, we lose, like I said before. Uh, the Desert Twister is nothing but dead in that matchup, and having the Egotist in the, in the Harpy Lady Sisters is also irrelevant. Uh, I wouldn't play Sisters in this deck if there was another hot Harpy to play, but I feel like you need to play at least four Harpies to make your uh, your skill always live. So unfortunately, right now we're playing it. Uh, as soon as we get any other Harpy Lady that I can summon instead, then we'll replace it with that. But um, that's that one in a nutshell, guys. Please comment, like, subscribe as always. Click the notification bell and check out our Patreon in the description below. Um... I'll try to get more uh, replays, more Dueling Book replays um, on here. And I like these short matches because they're just really fun to uh, show you guys the capabilities of decks that you may not have thought of uh, playing into this. But anyways, guys, have a good one. Peace.